So this is a bonus video just in case you had trouble following along. For example, if you didn't know how to install VirtualBox, if you don't know how to install a server on your virtual machine and you wanted to follow along, then this video is for you. So yes, you've noticed that I was using VirtualBox virtual machine to make everything that's here that you see in these videos. But as a bonus video, I decided to add this as well. So if you go to virtualbox.org, you can download the most recent virtual box. Now, you know, it's not simple to install a server operating system to make it work. However, I made this so it's easy for you just to import the virtual machine that we've all worked with together. So everything that you see in this video and the current state of it by the end of this tutorial is going to be just there for you. And let me show you what I mean. So again, install VirtualBox, download it, install it. So the most recent version is fine. I think at the recording of this video, it's VirtualBox 7.0. That's perfectly fine. And then install it. And you know, you can see how it looks like here. And don't worry about it when you're installing, just click next or whatever and specify where you want to install it. That's straightforward. However, it may be difficult to set all of this up. So, for example, if I go to settings and do this and that, and there are 10 different things that you have to change in order to make this work, and then you have to go in and configure the server operating system in there, so that way you have Active Directory working, DNS, DHCP, all of that stuff is somewhat complex, and you don't necessarily have to worry about it. However, I've made an exported version of the virtual machine that I was using for the entirety of the video and you can simply import it inside of your VirtualBox manager. So you have VirtualBox open like this, go to file, select import appliance and I will share the link to it. It's going to be a little bit over seven gigabytes so you'll have to download it to your computer but you can specify once you download it again link in the description. So in, in the description of this video, meaning in the bonus materials that you see inside of this Udemy video, right? And then once you download that, you can just go to here and locate it, right? So mine is currently st stored right here and you can see that it's right there. It has this orange icon and it's around seven gigabytes. And all you have to do is just select open and then next and then finish. And then it's going to start to import it. You're going to see it to the right here. And it's going to, once it's finished, it may take five, 10 minutes, depending on how fast your computer is. Once you have it in, you know, imported, it's going to show up just like here where it says server OS. And all you have to do is just click start, select it, click start. And it's going to, it's going to start the uh, machine itself. Now, once it starts, let me show you something real quick here. I'm going to cancel this because I've already done it. I'm going to start it and it's going to load the operating system. You may get a couple of uh, errors or so, which is fine. Like this one here, the vir virtual machine execution. You can just click OK and close that. And now it's going to load the server operating system. One thing I wanted to show you is that what the password is so you can log into this so that way you can, you know, look around, practice, follow along or whatever it is that you need to do. And I apologize if you have any further issues. I just don't know what kind of uh, computer that you have. So it may, it may not work on your computer. I apologize if it doesn't. There's nothing I can do about that. But this is just an option in case you don't know or are having issues installing the server OS on your own. So this is just me making sure that you at least have an alternative to that you can rely on or hopefully rely on as long as everything is fine uh, on your computer, then you may have another way of actually having access to the server operating system. Again, this is completely free including the virtual box itself, the operating itself, the server operating system itself is also free. You can download it and there's that's there's a link to that as well in the additional content under this video. So additional, uh, I, I forget what it's called, but anyways, it's all there. All the links are there, including to uh, this virtual machine that I've just told you about. But the last thing I wanted to show you is that you need to unlock this. You see it says how it's press, says press control, alt, delete to unlock. 
don't do that on your computer because this will bring up the window for your computer but you need to send the signal and this is done by going to here where it says input and then go to keyboard and it's insert control alt delete which will send that to the windows operating system itself windows uh, server operating system for the virtual machine and the password for this is let me in one so it's capital l m i i n one so i'm going to put that on the screen right now so you know what the password is so when you get all of this you can you know by all means you can look around or whatever but again here is your active directory so if you go to start windows administrative tools there's active directory users and computers there's dhcp there's dns let me open up active directory users and computers and you'll see that the state of it is exactly how we left it uh, when it comes to the tutorials that we worked on right so everything is here that i talked about in the videos and you can certainly uh, play around practice and hopefully you know that helps you i know i used another instance of windows 10 uh, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to download that yourself because i'm pretty sure i'm not allowed to share that one uh, with you but i don't know it may be the case it may not be the case i don't know anyways this is the one that i wanted to make sure that you all have just in case you need it all right i hope you enjoyed this course i wish you best of luck and thank you so much for your support i appreciate it and uh yeah i wish you best of luck take care bye bye